promises eternal life. It comes from him. If we go back to John chapter 14, we can see John 14 verses 2 and 3. We can see that Jesus has promised eternal life. He says, in my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And this is where the promise is. He says, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you may also be where I am. God, Jesus himself promised that he is going. He's going to leave us, but he's going to go and he's not going to be just sitting there waiting to come back. He's going there and he's working. He's preparing places for us to live with him for eternity. And since he's gone, he's promised that he's going to come back. He's promised us eternal life. And that eternal life is a gift that comes from the Heavenly Father. It comes from Jesus and from the Heavenly Father. We find about that in John 17, verses 2 and 3. This is Jesus himself. He's praying for himself. And he says, For you granted him, meaning himself, authority over all people, that he might give eternal life to all those who you have given him. Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, the one only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. God has the power to grant eternal life. And he has given that to his son, Jesus Christ, when he came to earth. And anybody who God has given to Christ, because God, I'm not going to try to explain this right now, because I don't have the time. God has chosen people, and those are the chosen people who God has given to Jesus as believers in him. They make that choice. He makes, God made that choice. And those that he has given to Christ are the ones that Jesus gives eternal life to. And that eternal life is to know God. And it's not just a matter of knowing about God. It's about knowing him personally. It's about having this relationship with him. It's about being excited to be in God's presence. I get excited when I get to go home and be with my wife and my family. I get excited when I get to go to my parents or best parents. I get excited. I remember as a kid, the, leading up to the time when we would go back to West Virginia, I was excited to go see my grandparents and go throw rocks in the river. That's a big thing we did. We'd go up the railroad track, pull the rocks, we'd go and throw them in the river. I don't know why that was fun. That's just what we did. And to go fishing. But I, I was excited to see my cousins. I was excited to see my family. And, and the anticipation that I had as a kid, as I was growing up, as we were just, oh, we're going to get going, we're going to pack. And, and we would, you know, we would usually leave like at 2 or 3 in the morning to get there. That was when my mom and dad were a lot younger. Um, and we were two. We would sleep. They would be, have peace in the car. Um, I mean, we had a hard time going to sleep at first because it's like, oh, we're going to get to go. We're going to get to go. I mean, and that should be the excitement. We should get to it. We should know God. And we know Him by having eternal life, and that eternal life comes from Christ Himself. And that comes through our belief in Jesus Christ. Because back in John 6, verse 40. He says, For my father's For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to who? To the Son. And believes in Him shall have eternal life. And I will raise Him up at the last day. Our belief in Jesus Christ gives us eternal life. And it's a free gift that comes from God. Because God has chosen us to be believers in Him. And He's chosen us through His Son. And it's a free gift. This idea of eternal life is a wonderful, wonderful promise that God has made for us. And we should be excited about it. It is. It's awesome. If we go to Galatians, Paul talks about this eternal life. Galatians 6, verse 8. He says, The one who sows to please his sinful nature, from that nature will reap destruction. The one who sows to please the Spirit from the Spirit will reap 
eternal life. You see, when we are given the gift of eternal life, when we believe in Jesus Christ as our Savior, and we turn to Him, and because of that salvation we have, we desire to do good things. We desire to listen to the Spirit. We desire to do good works. It's not the works that saves us. It's the result of our salvation which makes us want to live the life we need to live. And as by doing that, we're sowing according to the Spirit, and we will reap eternal life. 